Hi, welcome to another Coding in Blitz Basic. Um, it's been a while, but um, I've just been busy with my job. Uh, I'm actually in Dubai at the moment for the next month uh, on a project with my job, um, which means I'll have a lot of spare time in the evenings, so you should see a lot more tutorials online. Uh, you'll see a couple more online this weekend. Um, for now, I've not had much time this week, but I'm just sticking up a few um, bits of code I've been working on. This is for drawing health bars in your game. This is about four or five different types of health bar. That you can use this if you're making an RPG, a platform game, a uh, space game, any kind of game where you have a character with health that you need to deplete over time. Okay, um, I'll just show you how I'll just show you each program in turn. Uh, this one just draws a simple health bar. If I run it, you'll see the health just goes down. Simple as that. That's with me holding cursor keys to control the health. Obviously, in your program, you you just plus and minus um, different values for your health. Amount to adjust that and just display that anywhere you want on the screen. If I move on, I've uh, advanced it a little bit. This makes a coloured health bar. So as the health goes down, it will get red, and then back to green as it goes up. Third one is a gradiented health bar. This is a bar that has a grad gradient going from red over to green. So as it goes down, this goes into the red, as you go up, go into the green. Um, that's the only health bar programs I've written for that type of health bar. The other one is if you've got a game like Zelda or Mario or something like that, uh, you actually have health points. So instead of having like a hundred health and you minus five or ten off to let the bar go down, you might have five or six health points. So in this one, I've set health points to five. So if I run this, you'll see I've got five hearts. And as I go down in health, I've got less hearts. So this, these are like the Zelda hearts, that sort of thing. So up and down, up and down, whatever. Um, the more advanced one I've written, which just did my heading completely, but I finally got it to work, is when you have half health points. So in Zelda, you don't lose one heart at a time. You lose half a heart, or sometimes you have thirds of a heart that you lose. In this one, I've looked at it, so you lose half a heart at a time. So you have 10 health points. But only five hearts. So when I run this, I start with five hearts, I lose a health point, the last heart goes to half. Lose another one, four hearts, and down like that. And so I'm done for my last bit of health. Let's go up again. So that one's quite cool. That's if you're trying to make your own Zelda clone or something like that. Um, that's really it for this tutorial. Um, sorry it's been so quick, I'll zip these files up and put them online like normal. Uh, I've got a couple of other ideas for future t tutorials, um, most of which are going to be centred around the platform game. Obviously one of these health bars will be used in the platform game, probably the uh, one with the half health points, uh, this one that I've just shown you, uh, just because it's the most advanced and I like it. Um, if you have any suggestions for any tutorials you want to see, Remember just to send me a mail. I have had quite a lot of uh, requests for 3D um, tutorials. I really wanted to get through the platform game tutorials first and maybe a bit of a 2D RPG. The 2D RPG will be using the same map editor as the platform games. Then I just want to start looking at 3D. Um, I'm not really sure how deep I'll go into 3D though when I do um, because I was actually thinking about getting started on OpenGL or Ogre programming. Ogre is just a 3D um, library for C++ programming. I was actually thinking about getting into that and leaving Blitz 3D behind. Um, not because there's anything particularly wrong with Blitz 3D, it's just that Blitz 3D is a DirectX 7 um, library, which means you don't have shaders, so lighting effects and things like that don't look anywhere near as good as they would on um, on a uh, more up-to-date engine, uh, 3D engine. One option you've got is obviously if you like Blitz you can switch over to Blitz Max which has a similar uh, syntax, a similar type of code but you can get a 3D library um, like Leadworks uh, I think that's just leadworks.com I think it is uh, I'll put a link to it on the right hand side of this and there's also a couple of other 3D libraries you can use um, I'll get into that later on though. But for now, yep, this is a health bar tutorial. So any other tutorials you want to see, just drop me a line. And this weekend, 
So either sat probably Saturday night, I'll try and put some more tutorials online for the platform game. Um, I'll be advancing it, so we'll put objects into the into the um, level editor, as well as like you know start and end positions for the player, so you can actually complete the level. Um, I will be changing the level editor around quite a lot, actually. Um, almost rewriting it from scratch because um, I want to change how it works, so we can have lots of different le levels in the game. So you've got things like doors, objects. Uh, different types of collision uh, layers, uh, different types of tiles, so tiles in front of the player as well as behind the player, um, just loads of different stuff. So there will be a change to the level editor, so obviously I'll put all the code online for it when I do that. Uh, but yeah, look out for that then. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I'm up to nearly 110 subscribers now, so thanks to everyone that subscribed. Um, another YouTube member called Lucica Mage, uh, who's one of my friends, on I don't I don't know if she's one of my friends on here. She subscribed to mine. I'm uh, me and I'm subscribed to her. So you'll see her on my subscriptions. Check out her videos. They're pretty cool. That's all like C++ uh, games programming using Allegro, which is sort of like programming in Blitz, except a little bit more complicated uh, and involves getting yourself a C++ compiler, which is much much more complicated to use in Blitz. Um, her um, I'm trying to think what I was saying there. She actually makes games for her subscribers, so when you go through her video, you'll, you'll see she's got like thanks for 50 subscribers and thanks for um, 100 subscribers and stuff like that. So I'll probably make a thanks game soon, um, probably mod it on Space Invaders or on the platform game or something like that. Any ideas you've got, just um, message me and uh, yeah, I'll make a simple game um, and then just credit everyone that subscribes. Okay, I'll see you later. It's getting quite late at night for me now. I'm four hours ahead of where I normally am in the UK. Um, but it's a nice country out here. It's, it's cool. I'm not too around yet, but I'll see you at the weekend. And yeah, I'll see you at the weekend with my next video. Bye.